there guys, gals, non-binary pals, GM Potter here. And today we are doing another unboxing from Light It Up Literary. We have the January New Direction, uh, new, new Direction for the New Year, themed blind date with a book. Sorry, I've got my notes here. Um, so let's get into it. Now, as always, I did purchase this with my own money. All opinions are my own. I will link Light It Up Literary, um, their Etsy shop, down below in the com in the description box. Uh, this box is supposed to be a self kind of a self help, self improvement book uh, for January. I know it's February now, uh, March by the time this will go up, but I'm just a little bit behind on things. So uh, let's no, it'll go up in February. Um, so this book is $16, and it does come with some lovely ephemera, which I always like. It's packaged beautifully. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So this is what it looks like on the front. And it says, this is the life, January, new direction for a new year. And then it's got some little ephemera in the pocket up here. So we've got classic teas of London, lemon twist, flavored black tea which sounds delightful. I love a good lemon tea. I love black tea. I love lemon tea. I love green tea. I, I love tea. Um, I have a sticker that's a little stack of books that's super cute. And then I have a little elephant reading books, which is so cute. And then uh, they have their lighted up literary uh, bookmark with their link to their socials. And I love that they do the phases of the moon on the, on the side there. And this is the part I hate because it's always packaged so beautifully that I have to tear into it. So, oh, this is not a self-help book. This is a mystery, 341 pages, New York Times bestseller, 3.7 stars. I did not see that until just now. So, let's try this out. I'm excited. I open it from the bottom instead of from the top. Yeah, I'm not usually a mystery fan, but uh, their book selections are always so good. And this is The Girl Before, a pitch-perfect novel of psychological suspense by Lee Child. Is Well, the book is by J.P. Delaney, but Lee Child gave it a good little blurb. So we've got an enthralling psychological thriller with unexpected twists and turns. The girl before spins one woman's seeming good fortune and another's mysterious fate through a kaleidoscope of duplicity, death, and deception. So on the back, it says, Emma, reeling from, traumatic, from a traumatic break-in, Emma wants a new place to live and discovers Old Fulgate Street, an arch architectural masterpiece sleekly designed with soaring ceilings, but there are rules for tenants. The house enigma enigmatic architect likes to reign full control of, of the surroundings, mandating, among other things, no clutter of any kind. The space is ingeniously crafted to transform its occupant. And it does. And then it says, Jane, after a personal tragedy, Jane needs a fresh start. She is instantly drawn to one Fulgate Street, and it to its aloof but seductive creator. Moving in, Jane soon learns about the untimely death of the home's previous tenant. As Jane st tries to untangle truth from lies, she unwittingly follows the same patterns, makes the same choices, and experiences the same terror as the girl before. That sounds really cool. So the, the blurb on the back kind of reminds me of Last Night in Soho with Anya Taylor-Joy, which I don't know if you've seen that movie. It is amazing. I definitely... Definitely, definitely recommend that book. So, but yeah, this looks like a good book. Um, I'm excited. To, uh, it's I'm in Texas. It is currently freezing rain and snowing at the moment, which is disgusting. Um, so yeah, I look forward to to reading this and to going through and seeing what it's all about. Um, if you're interested in short stories, flash fiction, and prose, I do have my own website, gmpotter.com, where I post that on alternate Fridays. Um, I'll put the link in the description down below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!